hallelujah. I'm going to ask everyone to stand as we get prepared, hallelujah, to continue to set the atmosphere for what God wants to do in our service today. Amen. Just begin to fill your personal space with praise and worship and adoration unto the Lord our God. Hallelujah. This is the day that he has created. And we rejoice and we are glad in it. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We exalt your name, God. Your name deserves glory, honor, and praise. Hallowed be thy name today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And Father, we thank you for giving us another chance, another opportunity that we can come into your house. House, God, to fellowship with our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we don't take it for granted. We don't take it lightly. We thank you for creating this time and space for us to worship together in the beauty of holiness, for us to come together, Father, and give you glory and give you honor and give you praise. God, we hallow your name from this side of heaven. God, we hallow your name in this atmosphere. We declare and we decree let everything that has been breath give God praise today come on if you got breath in your body you want to give God praise hallelujah father we thank you father we bless you hallelujah you deserve the glory and you deserve the honor God we extol your name we honor your name today God father you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor out of everything that we do Oh God, and we lift you high. Father, we exalt you. You are the chief shepherd. You're the chief cornerstone. You're the one that we worship today. You're the one that we lift high today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you're the one that we exalt. That we don't exalt a man. We don't exalt a woman. But Father, we exalt you. You are the true and the living God. And beside you, there is none other. God, we thank you. Hallelujah, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, God. God, we have hearts of gratitude. We have hearts of gratitude. We're grateful people this afternoon. We are a grateful people today. Oh, God, we thank you. We could have been in the mortuary today. We could have been laid up in the cemetery today. God, we thank you. Oh, Father, but for your grace, but for your mercy, Hallelujah. But for purpose are we alive today? Thank you. God, we give you praise. With our hands lifted up and our mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, we will bless you, oh God. Hallelujah. Father, we honor you. Father, we thank you. We are grateful today. We are hungry. We're the hungry people today, God. We want you to fill us up today. Fill us up into overflow. Fill us up till we want the more bread of heaven. Feed us. Bread of heaven, feed us today, God. Feed us until we want no more. Here we are again, a thirsty people. God, quench our thirst with your presence. Quench our thirst with your anointing. Quench our thirst with your glory. The splendor of our King, clothed in majesty. Hallelujah. And all will see how great you are today. Hallelujah. All will know how great you are. Father, with every hand clap, with every hand raised, all will see. Shema all will know how great you are. And all will know how great you are. Father, all will see it with our eyes. All will know in our hearts how great you are today. All will know how great you are today, God. Father, our children will see it. The next generation will see it. Our grandchildren will see it. Our
And Father, we declare that as we are glory seekers, we want no glory for ourselves. We want no credit for ourselves. But God, we want you to get all glory. I wish I had a praying church. God, we want you to get all glory.
Lose yourself today. Lose yourself in the Holy Ghost. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, warrior, there's liberty. Benita, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Online family, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is a liberty. So everything that's been entangling you and everything that's been entrapping you, I dare to shout glory and watch in the realm of the Spirit. Chains begin to break up and barriers begin to loose. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And service just getting started. Hallelujah. For the glory of God, you are loose. Woman, thou art loose. Man, thou art loose. You're loose from your infirmity today. You're loose in the Holy Ghost today. You're loose. For the glory of God. Somebody shout for the glory of God. I can't hear glory seekers church. For the glory of God. And we give you praise. This is not for entertainment. But Father, you're freeing your sons. This is not for entertainment or for faith glory. When I declare deliverance is the children's prayer. You're delivered today, warrior. You're delivered today, no son. You're delivered all time. But you are delivered today in Jesus' name. As for me and my house, let me make it personal. As for me and my house, Father, we are delivered today. We walk in freedom. No snakes will trap us. No snare will trap us. We are free today. I wish I had about four intercessors that would just begin to walk this way. I know we got to move on, but I just wish I had about four of you that would just walk this way and declare that wherever the soles of your feet shall tread is blessed. We may call the tread of serpents and tread of scorpions and no pain to think will deny our dwelling. I wish I had about even church that would believe we're free and as you walk this way. Oh, 
also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed even the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. Somebody shout, he is our God. And we are the people, the sheep of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, I want you to hear this in particular. If you didn't hear anything we said for the last 12 minutes, I want you to hear this in particular. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. I said today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Our prayer for you today is that as you open your mouth and give him praise, as the word and the worship comes forth, don't you harden your heart. Don't you close off your spirit to what God has already done and what he's about to do. The service may not go as you are used to it. It might go a little different. You might see some strange demonstrations happening. But as you worship, as you give him glory, as you open your mouth, harden not your heart.
and I just worship God on today. There's no other help I know, no one. 
I'm already ahead of my son. But I speak to your spirit. Intercessor on right. Yes. 
intercessor, one who is an intercessor. An intercessor goes deeper. Yeah, yeah. An intercessor digs. Because an intercessor needs solutions. That's what we are solutionists. You've got a problem, I'm coming to intercede on your behalf. Because you need a solution. You need an answer to a problem. And the answer to the problem is to find yourself an intercessor. Because an intercessor will go before God. An intercessor is one who seeks the face of God on another's behalf. Intercession involves a standing in the gap. An intervention. A stepping in on somebody's behalf through prayer. <laughs> Do not get confused now. We all pray for people. But when it comes to them that are going to go deeper, we need intercessors. Do we have any intercessors in the house? An intercessor does not tell God what to do. But firstly, he discerns the will of God in a matter concerning someone else. And then he prays the will of God concerning the matter. Can I say that again? An intercessor does not tell God what to do. Yeah, yeah, sometimes um, our heads can get a bit squirrel. We can't tell God what to do. But it's our responsibility to discern the will of God concerning the matter. And then intercede, hallelujah, for an answer to that situation. As I said previously, the Psalm, Psalm 90 was written by Moses. We know the situation that Moses was in. He let a stiff-necked people. Uh, stiff-necked and rebellious. Moses' intercessory role brought an understanding of the Old Testament prophets. That they weren't just prophets, but they were intercessors. And that was not hard to understand. Because in order to receive a word from God, hallelujah, can you imagine what we would, the position that we would have to be in to hear from God? Even though the word says that the gift is without repentance. Isn't it weird? Isn't it funny? Isn't it strange? Our God still communicates. Oh. Mighty God. I won't go through them, but there were four intercessory prayers that Moses prayed for the children of Israel. So if we have a problem and a solution, we should thank God that we have an intercessor. The intercessor stands between the problem and the solution, seeking the problem solver on behalf, of, on behalf of that one that has the problem. An intercessor stands in the gap. As I started to study, the Lord said to me, here is how you get your solution. As an intercessor, Standing in the middle. You have your problem here. You have your problem solver here. The intercessor moves towards the problem solver. And he responds in either two ways. One or the other. He either gives the, the, the solution to the intercessor. Or he allows the walk and the pace and the lifestyle of the intercessor to draw that person with the problem towards the problem solver himself. I've come to help the intercessor today. One, here are some points. An intercessor identifies and aligns himself with the heart and the will of God. God, I want 
to know what your will is. <laughs> Before I begin to intercede on someone's behalf, God, tell me what it is you want. An intercessor is obedient to the voice of God. But how many of us know that because of prayer, we must be able to identify the voice of God? I want you to know there are many voices out there. But the word of God says, my sheep know my voice. And my sheep know my voice, I said, because of relationship. My son is in the building today. And if I call his name, he will know that it's mommy calling. If it's, if, if it's Roe calling and she says his name, he will know that's not his mom. Because we have a relationship. Because he's always around me. He's always in my presence. So, come on, intercessor. So my voice is familiar. Next, an intercessor carries out the instructions of God. In the book of Exodus 32, 29, then Moses told the Levites, Today you have ordained yourselves for the service of the Lord. For you obeyed him. And listen, this wasn't no small bit of obedience. Here's what had happened. We know that Moses went to the mount. He and Joshua for 40 days and 40 nights. And those people down there got impatient. When Moses gone, he left us. Moses ain't checking for us, boy, that sound like us in 2022. Huh? God, I've been praying this prayer for 10 years now. Uh -huh. I think I can seek somebody else. Let me go see what the psychic got to see. Come on, y'all don't act deep in here. Woo. This woman said, if I bring her $2,000, she can make this happen for me. Come on, y'all don't act deep in this place. We get impatient. And what they did was, they said to Aaron, he ain't coming back, man. We need, we need a God. We need somebody to lead us. So he told them, go get your goal. Go get your goal. Everybody, he listened to them and complied. Built a calf of gold. Another deity, a form of deity. And the word of God said they actually called him Lord. They actually called the golden calf Lord. So here is Moses up on the mount. He doesn't know what's going on. God said to him, do you see what they're doing down there? God informed Moses of what was happening. And he gave him an ultimatum. God was about to wipe them out. Here it is, Moses the intercessor. Interceding for a stiff-necked and rebellious people. He's interceding on people who turn their back on him. Can you intercede on somebody who's turned their back on you? I've come to help the intercessor today. Can you call that person's name in prayer that hurts you so bad? Intercessors! But what they did was the instruction that they obeyed. He said, take swords. He said, and go and kill. 3,000 men died that day because of the commandment that was given to them. But it's because of disobedience. Thirdly, an intercessor can cause God to relent. Not change his mind. <laughs> Don't get it mixed up. God did not change his mind. He relented. He said, 
that he was going to kill, destroy. Didn't he say it? Yeah, he said it. But because of Moses, the intercessor, not everyone died. Thank God for the intercessor. Moses tried to pacify the Lord, the word says. Oh Lord, he said, why are you so angry with your own people whom you brought from the land of Egypt with such great power and such a strong hand, God? You have shown these people how great you are. You've opened the Red Sea. You fed us. You've been a cloud by night. A pillar by day. You fed us in dry places. Gave us water in the wilderness. How can you go back on your word, God? He said, God, if you do this, if you kill these people, what about the promise you made to the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? So the Lord relented that day with the terrible disaster that he had threatened to bring on the people because of the intercession of Moses. An intercessor will set things in order. Yeah. Come on. That's good right there. An intercessor will set things in order. Moses saw that Aaron had let the people get completely out of control. Much to the amusement of their enemies. So he stood at the entrance to the camp and shouted, All of you who are the, on the Lord's side, come here and join me. And all the Levites gathered around him. Choose ye this day who you are going to serve. Intercessors put things in order. We set things. You know, and I love this one, number five. An intercessor incites and attracts the glory. Amen. Oh boy. Amen. When apostles started today, I was about to scream and tell him, get out of my sermon. But the word says it was Moses' practice to take the tent of meetings. It was his practice. This, this is something that he did. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Yeah. Huh? This is something that he did because he was an intercessor. Yeah. And set up in some distance from the camp. Everyone who wanted to make a request of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside. So they went and they stood outside because they knew that when Moses went inside of the tent, mm -hmm. that the glory of God would descend upon the tent. You better know who is an intercessor. And you better know that they will incite the glory of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The word said they will watch Moses until he disappeared inside. And he went into the tent. The pillar of cloud would come down and hover over its entrance. While the Lord spoke to Moses. When the people saw the cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they would stand and bow down in front of their own tents. Inside the tent of meeting, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face. Face to face as one speaks to a friend. After what Moses would return to the camp. I just want to stick a pin right here. It says, and the young man who assisted him, Joshua, the son of Nun, he would remain behind the tent of meeting. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I want to stick a pin right here. I don't know if any of you have ever wondered if Joshua 
was given the responsibility of Moses or the blessing of Moses simply because he followed him. What this told me just now was that just as Moses was an intercessor, Joshua was even greater of an intercessor. Why? Because when Moses had left the tent, <laughs> glory to God, Joshua stayed behind. Somebody tell me here. Joshua was basking in the presence of God. So as he basked in the presence of God, he was being prepared from that time to lead. So it was good when God says, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. Why? Because Joshua interceded just Moses did, but he stayed. He stayed a little longer. He stayed behind and he basked in the presence of God. More prayer, more power. How do you feel or how do you think it was that Joshua was able to carry the people across unto the promised land because he knew what it was to bask in the presence of God. He wondered where the song Yahweh came from. From this very scripture. Then the Lord came down in a cloud and stood there with him and he called out his own name Yahweh. God said to Moses who he was himself. He called his own name. Uh -huh, yeah. And the Lord passed in front of Moses, calling out Yahweh the Lord. Amen. Yahweh the Lord, the God of compassion and mercy. He is the Lord of compassion. And he is 
the Lord of mercy. As he was in the beginning, so he is even now. Even as he forgave the children of Israel for rebelling, he is doing so today, God. Oh, but for your grace, God. Oh, but for your mercy, God. We thank you today, oh God, that Jesus is on the right hand of the Father and is interceding on our behalf. He's interceding for us. He's interceding for us. Even right now, he's interceding for us. We thank you, hallelujah, God. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the great intercessor. We thank you today, God. Even that as you intercede for us, God. God, that we would... God, that we would... We would Even as Jesus is interceding, I say to us today as intercessors, to bask, feed, learn. He is the great intercessor, which is why he said, Teach us. Next, when the glory shows up, an intercessor will worship. An intercessor will worship. So what did we learn today? That an intercessor must pray. <laughs> because it's through prayer. Through prayer. We receive solutions. And we also learn that an intercessor is a worshiper. <laughs> Lastly, an intercessor receives solutions. Or leads problems to the problem solver. Yeah. 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 Intercessors receive solutions or we leave problems to the problem solver. Intercessors arise. I declare today in this atmosphere that the spirit of intercession arises. We must diligently maintain a prayer life. We must be very specific. Let God judge, not us. Amen. Can I say, keep your family covered? I need you to pray for the backsliders. I need you to have compassion for those that are still in the world. As a matter of fact, let that compassion fuel your prayer life. I don't know about you, but I have some children that I need to save. I don't know about you, but I have some family members that I need to save. And so I have to have compassion. Glory to God as upset as I will get her. I still got to go in my prayer closet. I have got to call their names in prayer. I've got to say, God, I pray. Good luck. 
So God, we ask today that spiritual eyes be open. Unclog spiritual ears. Take me out of the way. Even as Moses said, God, I'd sacrifice me. If you'd save your people. It's the cry of an intercessor. But can I guarantee you this? God has got you covered, intercessor. He's got you covered. He's got you covered. In the name of Jesus. Of 
that we have intercessors of God. And so today we're going to bless these oils. standing here with us today can reach to your house so grab your individual bottle of oil if you if you're able to snatch it really fast and join in and believe that this same prayer that is in the room extends to you right where you are hallelujah thank you father father we we extend our faith and our belief and we declare now in jesus name nothing spooky nothing deep nothing fancy but father this is simply symbolic of your blood and as we apply it in our homes over our children over our spouses god whomever we need to apply it over we declare and decree that the blood of jesus christ that was spilled some two thousand years ago will have the same power and effect today god those that are online god those that are in the room that as they take these oils father and begin to apply it we declare and decree that no good thing will you withhold from us in the name of jesus christ because we stand in belief because we stand as intercessors because we arose to the occasion and we declare now in Jesus name that the gates of hell shall not prevail against your sons as you summons us to the place of prayer even into a deeper call to prayer we declare now in Jesus name that you will prick our hearts and prick our spirits by blood and by your spirit says the Lord of hosts in the name of Jesus by blood and by your spirit says the Lord of hosts in the name of Jesus we're believing for miracles we're believing for somebody to be healed yes we're believing for somebody's deliverance to break out we're believing for pain to leave for cancer to dry up for COVID to dry up we're believing you see so that the death angel will pass over that by your spirit miracles documented miracles documented breakthroughs documented healings cancer bow your knee cancer bow your knee cancer bow your knee Power. There is healing power. Uh, high blood pressure. 
given us a work to do. And we can't do the work if our bodies won't line up. Father, you've given us a great call and a commission. You said to go. But God, we can't go with back pain. We can't go with shoulder pains. We can't go with cancer. But God, if you would send us, we would go. So we declare healing now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. See, because in the dream, the snake was wrapped around my throat. Shaking. And everything that's trying to muzzle the people of God, we declare loose your grip, loose your hold. In the name of Jesus, you won't quiet our voices, you won't quiet us, because we are the healed of God. We are the healed of God. And every other disease comes subject to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare it to be so. God, because the prophet obeyed you. God, this was not planned. This was a prophetic clarion call. And because she obeyed you, because she obeyed your voice, I declare that as these oils are dispensed to the people of God, because of Sheku Mansi, come our elder, come Sheku Rabas. Uh, yes, just lay hands on elder. Rabasiki Ramandehi. Uh, Sister Renata, Minister Renata, come. Shibo Sanda Rabba Ikansi Mandebiko Dika. Come and eat you. Ah, uh, come. Just lay hands on elder. Hallelujah. Just lay hands on elder. Come on, we were surrounding her today. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Ah, uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, healing will break out. She will be the example. She will be the example. Healing will break out in her house. She will see what happens in her house. It's going to start with her and it's going to go down. Healing. Yeah. Yes, God. Let it be so. Let it be so. Because she obeyed you in a hard assignment. She obeyed you. Mm. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. We cover her by blood. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. No backlash. No retaliation. The devil is a liar. No weapon. No backlash. She ba 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 ba. Strength is yours. You won't even feel this assignment in your body. The devil is a liar. She Because you obey God. Because you were obedient to the assignment. Your body won't even feel the backlash of this assignment. You're coming. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. In the name of Jesus, we gotta go. But we thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Yo, I feel I feel like to go another 12 hours. Hallelujah. I feel an ignition in prayer. That the fire was just licking our spirit to, to prayer and intercession. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. I feel a fire just got lit to do even more. Oh God, help me, Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I just felt the fire. 
you've been seeking God's face. And as close as people are to you, they don't know this petition that you've been praying to God. It's been a secret one. I mean, you ain't told your best, best buddy. Nobody knows. Only you and God. And God sent you here today. He interrupted your whole path. And he sent you here today to let you know he's heard you. I don't know what kind of sacrifice you've been laying at the altar. But there's been such a sacrifice coming from a pure place in your heart. God says, I heard you. He says, tell my daughter I heard her. And watch this. He said, from the first time you prayed it. He heard you the first time. God says in the next 60 days. Mark it on the calendar. 60 days from today, I'm going to answer that one. And God says, I'm going to do this. Because I'm taking you to a deeper level in me. I'm taking you to a deeper place in me. What season you have walked into is calling for deeper levels of commitment. And it seems like God has been picking on you. Because you're like, God, what else can I give you? I don't give you everything. I have surrendered everything to you. But God says, a little deeper. And I'm about to reveal mysteries to you. Anybody's ever told you this, but you have prophetic eyes. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but God has given you prophetic insight to see his heart and his mind and his will concerning people, places, and things. He's given you a prophetic anointing to dig into the trenches and snatch people from the pits of hell. He's mantling you for your next place in him. But this prayer need that you have before him, he says, mark the date. Because in the next 60 days, I'm about to make good on my word. I'm about to fulfill my promise to you. And I simply want to agree with you. And when it happens, come back and tell us. Father, we thank you now in Jesus' name. Father, for documenting miracles and agreement in her life. Thank you for the deeper call to prayer and the deeper call to intercession and the deeper call to the prophetic. Thank you for showing mysteries to her, things she has not seen before. In the name of Jesus, now do what you said you are going to do. Manifest your promises in her life. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Lord, we got to get out of here. But we make no mistakes for what the Holy Spirit has done. No apologies for what the Holy Spirit has done. Amen. The only apology I will make is that it's so hard in here. Amen. That ain't even in my control. Amen. Clearly the AC is not working, so thank you for sticking with us. Even through the heat, we apologize, but amen. We don't have any control over that. Let's do this very quickly. Let's take up our offering, and then you can get outside to some fresh air. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get our tithe and our offerings and present those to the Lord. And this is an important part of the service because this too is worship to God. Amen. And so if you desire to give online, family, if you're still with us, I don't know, even know who's still there. Amen. You can go ahead and plant your seed now. Amen. You can give electronically. Cash out is dollar sign. Glory Seekers Church. If you want to give to sell, it's Glory Seekers Church at gmail.com. Amen. Checks payable to Glory Seekers Church. However you decide to plant your seed in the ground today, we want to agree with you, not just for money to come to you, but that God will do everything you said he would do in your life. Amen, somebody? Amen. We thank God for the word. Will you bless by that word? If anybody has a tangible seed, lift your hands and Jehovah will come and pick it up from you. And I want to pray over your seed today. Listen, every dollar, every penny, every cent that you give helps us to do ministry. Amen? If you give $10, that helps us to do ministry. If you give a dollar and 50 cents, listen, I had $7 to my name last week, and I gave God five of those seven. Amen? And I, I wasn't sure to plant my $5 seed. Amen? And so listen, as God blesses you, bless the house of God. Amen?
Father, we thank you for every seed sown today. Thank you for our offerings and our tithe. And we plant before you. We pray that you would use every dollar, every cent to the honor and to the glory of your name. Thank you for our online family that have given. Thank you for our in-house family that have sowed seeds. They make ministry possible, so we bless you for them. Now, God, meet them at their point at need. God, they may not need money. They might need a job. They might need their child saved. They might need, come on, their bodies healed. So we pray that these seeds are simply an example or a sacrifice to show you how much we need you in our life. In G Lord, I still feel like praying. Help me hold it. Up. Thank you, Jesus. Elder, I don't think the elders know what they did this week. Hallelujah. Ignite us to prayer again. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I feel like a prayer, like an all-night shredding type. Sando in my Sando, Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, thank you, Lord. Do it, God. Do it, God, for your glory and for your honor. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So listen, on this week, we're going to simply buy, we're going to bypass Tuesday morning prayer this week only because Apostle is tired. I had a long two weeks. I had some back-to-back -back assignments. So if y'all don't mind, I'm taking this Tuesday morning off. Amen? But of course, we'll be back on Wednesday night. Minister Shanique will be in Bible teaching us Bible study this Wednesday night, 7 o'clock on Zoom. Don't miss it, 7 p.m. Amen? If you need the link, we'll send it out to you. So nothing on Tuesday morning, but we will be together on Zoom on Wednesday night for prayer. Amen? So pass the word out to those that may not be here. And then, of course, we'll be back here on next Sunday. Also, listen, ladies, 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 get your tickets for the Pumps and Pearls Empowerment Brunch on Saturday, September the 10th at 10 a.m. If you need the website, see somebody. Somebody will give you the website. Get your tickets. If you've already got your ticket, then get one for your girlfriend. Get one for your sister. And get one for somebody else. Amen. Go ahead, and we want you to help us. Amen. I peeked into the group this week that's planning the event, and I asked them if we can get everybody to just share the flyer. You all, y'all know plenty of people. Every last one of y'all ladies, I ain't gonna be there. I ain't no lady. Me and the ain't gonna be there. And the other person and the musicians, we ain't gonna be there. This year all day. Amen. So go and invite, <laughs> invite your friends, those that you believe will be blessed by the Pumps and Pearls brunch. Ladies got some tremendous things planned, giveaways, prizes, surprises, and of course the speakers are, are no strangers to this house. Pastor Winston McLean Mia is going to be speaking, of course Elder will be speaking, we have Prophetess Monique Henry, amen, and we have Prophet Taj Bird coming down with their ladies ministry, and she's going to be speaking as well. So listen, grab your girlfriends and sisters and be a part of that, amen. Let's stand as we get ready to be dismissed. We want to thank God for Sister Cheryl coming back to worship with us this week, amen. She visited for the first time last week. Clearly, we didn't scare her. She came back a second week. So that says a whole lot. Amen. Thank God for you being in the house of God today. Pray that you were blessed. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all that has been said and done. We thank you that at the end of the day, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Thank you for reigniting our spirits to prayer and intercession. Thank you, God, for, for reigniting that flame, for calling us even to a deeper place of prayer. We pray for our online family, our in-house family, God, that they will be blessed this week to even go deeper into the things of you, to even go deeper, even to study a little bit deeper. 